Hey everybody, today we're going to make a strobe light. This is probably the most cost-effective strobe light I've ever built. It cost me $32. It's a 360 degree visibility, three mile... Oh, that's gonna hurt. Jesus. Um, and can strap onto your frame or your harness or your netting. Jesus, lighting up the whole room. Or your, uh, your wing. So, uh, great option for me for a loner strobe so that I can hand it to a, a friend who's uh, wanting to fly, but it's just too late for it. So, uh, check out this quick video on how it's made. It took me like 10 minutes. And uh, get one yourself. Links are down in the description. I'm gonna turn that off. So here are the parts and materials you need. Uh, these two clasps are actually optional. These are from uh, Keyless Entry Remote Start Key Fobs that I pick up at work sometimes, but uh, you don't need these, or really any kind of clasp if you make the lines long enough, but uh, they help, so that's two optional pieces. Then of course we've got the two strobe lights themselves. Uh, they come in their own little neato box, the USB-C charge cable, Velcro, scratchy and soft sides, light itself, and of course an instruction manual. Um, looking at the light specifically, it's fairly simple. You got three white LEDs, one red, one green, USB-C charging. On the back is a battery, and on the front is a button. You press and hold the button to turn it on. The mode we've got it going right now is all three white LEDs and the red and the green flashing, so literally all the light output it can manage. You click once to change modes. So now we're into red, and then green, and back to all, which is white. Uh, press and hold to turn back off. Makes sense, very well thought out little package, very small and lightweight, very affordable. So we're going to be putting basically two of these back to back with some line and a uh, pair of scissors to cut the line of course to make ourselves a little uh, 360 degree visibility strobe light. So you could do this with double sided tape, but I'm trying to get out of here as cheap as possible. So I'm gonna use the Velcro that comes with it. It's 3M VHB adhesive on the back, which is basically double sided tape, but with uh, Velcro on the other side. So I'm gonna make two loops, uh, one for one light set and one for the other going opposite directions, but I'm going to put them uh, behind both associated pieces of Velcro. If that sounds confusing, just uh, just follow me here. So we've got our line. This is actually a line from a paraglider from when I did my uh, paramotor versus drone video, which you should watch up there in the top corner. I'm just going to take that. I'm going to make a loop about you know, that big or so. This is about uh, four inches, three inches. So with our pieces of line, just tie a single simple overhand knot. This does two things. It of course makes our line a loop, but then also the knot is much harder to pull through and under the Velcro when we stick the Velcro than just a plain Jane piece of string. So it's kind of acting as a stop as well. So got one of those, and one of those. All right, then we're going to adhere Velcro. And our goal is to put the Velcro piece right in between, like so, if that makes sense. And then stick it. So the adhesive is going to be holding the lines to the light with the knots um, being the piece that won't uh, allow it to be pulled off. So we've got one on just like that. And of course, scratchy Velcro on the other side. The Velcro they sent, the scratchy side is uh, significantly larger. I feel like they meant to, uh, meant to have the end user put the scratchy Velcro on the drone, and then the, uh, the loop, the, 
the softer side on the lights. But we're not quite using it in the original intent. And this, we're actually going to slide into this little hole we made and go ahead and stick it onto the other piece of Velcro, you know, scratchy side down. So the adhesive side is up. That's going to stick to our light. Like so. Then go ahead and take your other light. I like to have the buttons and the USBs pointing in the same direction. I'm just going to stick it on. All right, so now I've got two lights and we use two lines for redundancy. Um, if I'm going to be placing these on like uh, on the on the frame, it's probably going to end up on the netting. And if you have two clips onto two different sections of netting, it'll one keep it from flapping around too much and uh, two, guarantee that it's not gonna go through anything. Uh, same with a wing. So if you clip this onto a wing, you can clip the other side onto the line that's coming off of the wing so that it's not flapping all over the place. But basically, Lark's head. So you take your loop, if you're using these clips, stick it through the clip and run the clip back through the loop. Very, very, very simple. There you go. So not much of a looker, but now you can clamp it onto two different sections, you know, across a harness if you really wanted to, uh, across a cage piece, or you know, this one attached to the wing, this one attached to the line so it's not flopping all over the place. And by pressing and holding both buttons, congratulations, you now have 360 degree LED coverage. They're quite bright.